Can you tell me anything about yourself? Who you are, where you came from? Can you tell me your name? I, uh, I can't remember anything. <laughs> Day one, Greeny. Rise and shine. What is this place? Well, congrats, Will. Another great movie. You're getting a, this is a habit of yours now. Oh. <laughs> now. Movie after movie. And your character in this, though, in the book that's obviously really popular, really famous, mm. is more of a villain, I think, than in the movie. So yeah. I'm wondering. How did this happen? Was this something you're told is going to be like, or did, did it develop as, as your production or things like that? Yeah, it's interesting. I think originally it was something I was slightly worried about um, because I kind of read, I actually read the book after the script, and um, I think initially in the script, and, and this is one of the you know credits of the writers and, and, and the way that it was adapted, you know, the, the script takes um, most of the best bits of the book and incorporates it. It's a very faithful reflection of what people love and know about the book, which is fantastic. But I think Galley was a little bit too much of a villain, and one of the things that Wes and I kind of worked on was, in conjunction with the writers, and particularly T.S. Nolan, was trying to kind of make him more of a kind of conflicted individual and a little bit more relatable, understandable, rational. Um, you know, I think you you come to empathize with Galley a little bit, whereas you just kind of all out hate him in, in, in the book. So we tried to kind of give him a little bit more, you know, dynamism, I'm gonna say that word. Good Dynam word. Yeah, something, yeah. is that, yeah, I don't even know if it's even a word. <laughs> Dynam, it'll make him more Dyn dynamic, Dyn basically. Okay. Dynamite. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> he is one of the more, he is the most complex character possibly in it. Is that more, maybe more attractive as an actor to get, he's probably the meatiest role I think in there because you have to portray so many different sides. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it was a, a fantastic role. I'm really, really grateful for it. And yeah, he does have a really interesting character. I mean, particularly the way that he develops, you know, when you first see him, he is kind of this quite, you know, harsh, sort of hard-edged, uh, um, authoritative figure, and he quickly kind of plummets down the ranks to become kind of quite an insignificant figure in the Glade, who who isn't so much like less respected anymore. He's not only that; he's kind of like hated by a lot of people, um, and and the, the respect shift really does swing towards Thomas. So. That's um, that was an interesting, interesting kind of development that I that I loved about the character. That's the maze. Every morning when those doors open, the runners look for a way out. And no one has ever survived a night in the maze. What happens to them? the support of your cast apparently you guys got on really well yeah. and you met up i think it was a two-week camping thing before yeah. you started filming is that right yeah yeah then no that's a little inaccurate it was like we had like a, a week and a half of of like you know being together uh they went out and camped one night i didn't even go um <laughs> yeah i didn't know there was no not way doing that. no way i was having like 12 hour pre-production days and i just did not i was not doing that and then a storm hit them I know, horrible, okay, right? He didn't go. Yeah, they like slept in water, in like mud and water, and then like they got no <laughs> sleep, and um, and uh, but yeah, it's you know we from day one like that I was that I showed up to uh, the pre-production weeks, you know, um, they all like would were cooking dinner like for each other in 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 Will's room, you know, and I was I was like, what? <laughs> it's really cool and. And just like from then on, it was just, it was cake, man. Like we all just got on really well, really easily. What's through there? You guys can't just keep me here. I can't let you leave. Why won't you tell me what's out there? I think it's just fun. Um, sometimes there was nothing there. Sometimes there was guys in blue suits, you know, with like things like. That's uh, off putting. Isn't that funny? Is it? Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's already harder to act with somebody in a blue. I know. <laughs> I know. But no, you just do it. You know, it's not, it's not like, you know, you're like, Okay, I can't, I can't, you know, he's a blue suit. How am I supposed to be afraid of that? <laughs> it's like, you know, you just do it. You you can picture what the scene is. You know what the scene is. It's just funny that in between takes, you, you almost forget that, like, you're just hitting a guy with, like, a hockey mask on, like, <laughs> and he's in a blue leotard. It's just funny. Obviously, a lot of people know you already, as I said, from Teen Wolf and all sorts of stuff. Huh? Are you ready for the onslaught of female fans throw, putting, putting the, your picture on their walls and all sorts of always happens with the lead from movies like this? Uh, yeah, you know, I, yeah, c come on. <laughs> Bring it on, says no. you. No, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Um, do you mind screaming girls in the streets? Because this could happen. I do. That actually, it's not a fun thing, <laughs> usually. Uh, you know, it's it's sweet and it's great. There's a line. Um, yeah. But I think I'm pretty 
good about drawing it, you know, like, yeah. and of course, of course, I would never, you know, reject fans coming up to me, like, in the street or store, but, like, also, it is my life, and, you know, yeah. respect that a little bit, you know, so, sometimes you get, I, I very, very rarely you get, like, crazy, like, okay, whoa, 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 this is not, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is not, you're, you're torturing me, um, they're all just really sweet and always just very excited, uh, almost like you know overwhelmingly so like it, it makes me nervous meeting them <laughs> almost. Okay. but yeah i don't know I, you know who knows if i can handle it who knows where this might lead us it's a girl <gasps> thomas everything started changing the moment you showed up what if we were sent here for a reason the doors aren't closing you're the only girl in this film, mm -hmm. though. Was that on the set? Was that kind of what was that like? Was being the only girl? Did you have control? Were you the one that people <laughs> picked on? What was going on? It was nice. I think uh, when I arrived, they were all playing ball games, and I caught a ball and threw it back at them, and they were like, "Oh, she's cool. She's okay." <laughs> uh, and yeah, they were nice. They were very brotherly and looked after me. But then also, they did pick on me and tease me, and I like that. We kind of had a very equal balance. Yeah, everybody seems to saying you all got on really well. And you We're all met genuinely up. like incredible friends. It's it's beautiful because it doesn't really normally happen, but it's been a year since we stopped filming, and we still we have a WhatsApp group, and we still message each other every day. I remember seeing you back. I think it's like 2007 and Son of Rambo. Then oh. of course last year interviewed you for Were the Millers, done the Narnia thing. Now you're doing this. I believe you got a, a film with Leonardo DiCaprio next. It was the remaster plan <laughs> back at Son of Ram Rambo that you said this is where I want to end up, and this is what I'm going to do. Because do you have to pinch yourself even sometimes? Oh, dude. Well, well, you're dead right in that I'm, you know, I'm very fortunate to, yeah, have been able to do a kind of range of different things. I feel very lucky. It was not something that, I mean, it's something that I kind of would love to say that I planned or expected, but I certainly didn't, you know. And, and, and uh, I'm just grateful that, you know, I've I've had these opportunities, and I just hope I can keep, you know, making the most of them. But um, yeah. no, it's really exciting, and, and and I think one of the reasons I was really excited about this was the fact that it was drama, and you know, I think I'd, I've done quite a bit of comedy and done a lot of kind of drama stuff kind of on, you know, um, uh, my own shores, but you know, in America, like, I haven't really, so I was very grateful to get the chance to, to do that. And is it true you're gonna be working with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy in the yeah, next? Yeah, which would be great, yeah, on the, on the Revenant, so I'm really excited, so I go off to do that in a, in a couple of months time, but that's, you know, that's a dream come true, if I'm honest, so. Do you learn from other actors you work with? Like, obviously, you've worked with a few, whether it's Jennifer Aniston, whoever, Liam Neeson, is, do mm. you learn from these actors that you work with as you go along? Yeah, I think I think you, you you can only learn, you know, I mean, even if you don't set out to subconsciously, you, you, you take in, you know, the way that they go about their their craft and, um, you know, it's, it's inspirational. I mean, you know, to work with a, you know, comedic genius like Jen, who's 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 so in experienced and, and so fantastic. And and then, you know, um, to work with someone who's so um, fantastic in the field of, of, of drama, like, like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio or Tom Hardy, you know, who I'm very much looking forward to working with. Yeah, it's 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 an incredible incredible opportunity, um, and you know you do you do learn a, a great deal from them. They're here. They're gonna keep coming back until they kill us all. Moon and the Sun is a movie mm -hmm. you've got coming up with Pierce Brosnan. Have you mm -hmm. done, you've done that already? Yeah, done that we're already. just finishing that in Australia. What was Pierce Brosnan and 007 like to work with? Honestly, the warmest, loveliest human being ever. Um, he was such an important part of my life. Meeting that man, he's kind of really changed my outlook on a lot of things and, and, and made me believe that you can have a long running career and be very successful and still a completely normal, nice human. Uh, and he really is, and he's charming and he's great. And he ordered a martini and I freaked out. And I, was, <laughs> and I sat there waiting for him to say it and he didn't say it and I said, piss, say shaken, not stirred. <laughs> And then he did it, and everyone clapped. Very lastly, would you stay in the glades, or would you go out into the maze? Given the choice, if you're dropped into this situation, would you stay where you are, like chill out, or would you actually try and get out of the place and face the maze? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd chill for a bit, you know, get uh, get get my bearings, kind of just learn a few trades, and then I'd just be like, all right, I'm done. I'm bored. Let's get out of here. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's a hard question to answer because um, I don't know how I would, if that yeah. situation were to actually actually happen. I would like to think that I would go into the maze and I think I would. I think I do share that with Thomas. Well, he, he's way cooler though. Yeah. Hopefully it's not going to happen. Yeah. I don't Listen, know. thanks for your talking to us. Brilliant movie and um, yeah, thanks man. Everything. Thank you so Cheers, much. Cheers. Pleasure. Thanks man. Thanks pleasure. Yeah. Well, we call them grievers. We don't belong here. Somebody built the maze. I think it's time we find out what we're really up against. You're not like the others. You're curious. What the hell is that? This is the first real clue you found. 
Who knows where this might lead us? It's a girl. <gasps> Thomas. Everything started changing the moment you showed up. What if we were sent here for a reason? The doors aren't closing. They're here. They're gonna keep coming back until they kill us all. We get out now or we die trying. You don't get it. We're already dead. You sure about this? No. Nope. We can't leave. They won't let us.